if you look at the shit that you know you were involved in, mm -hmm. a lot of important songs, a lot of important times. Like, 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 what music do you think you're most proud of yourself? I'm, I'm proud of all the chronic stuff, everything that I did. Like I said before, I reached the pinnacle of rap. But were you on 2001? Dr. Dre? Yeah. No. No. The corrupt, corrupt was on it though. I was still on death row around that time. Really? Yeah. Were you on death row when they put out the Chronic 2000? Yeah. Well, whose idea was that? That was Suge Knight's idea. He was trying to get back at Dr. Dre. Right, because every, Dre was announcing that he was coming out with the Chronic 2000, and then Death Row drops a compilation album called... 2001. The Chronic 2000. And they got one called Getting Gangsta on the Radio. Some bullshit Suge Knight putting together. And then he came with the fake Snoop Dogg and the fake Tupac. But right, they had the realist. But you were at death row at the time. I never fucked with none of those guys, though. I used to be in and out, get my money and get the fuck up out of there. I don't what, fuck with none of you punks. Was Crooked Eye uh, on the label at the time? Yeah, Crooked Eye was over there. And then um, when I was leaving, he wanted to stay. And that's where we had our funkin', you know, our beef and stuff like that. Y'all worked it out? I mean, you know, it's cool. We ain't never talked to none of that other shit. You know, you do his thing, I do my thing, but you know, it's cool. I'm trying to battle John Cena. Can somebody find John Cena's management? WWE, somebody find John Cena, and let's make this happen. So let's be super honest here, and I'm gonna be really frank and a little uncouth. I'm not gonna suck a dick unless I'm gonna do it great. I'm not gonna write a book unless I'm gonna do it great. I'm not gonna cook a meal unless I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna do any, I'm not gonna touch anything unless I plan on doing it better than anyone else you've ever met in your entire life.